okay here suppose that I take this value it is 0 0.38 that means export versus import the correlation coefficient is 0 0.358 that means 35.8 percent in other way I can say 35.8 percent and the coefficient is positive right uh, so the coefficient is positive means if import goes up export also goes up if import goes down export also goes down because the sign is positive but the problem is that the association between export and import is very poor only 35.8 percent right only 35.88 percent the 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 value of correlation okay then i check the and uh, check about this one 0 0.94 so this one actually called pearson correlation coefficient this one right i i uh, yeah so so here you can see so this one is 9.4 percent so and on the sign is positive meaning that if consumption goes up export goes up or if consumption consumption goes down export goes down but the thing is that the association is very poor extremely pro poor only 9.4 percent they are 9.44 percent is their association ship very poor okay then I check about the third one what about this one minus 0 0.767 right between consumption and import and here the sign is negative meaning that if consumption goes up import goes down or if consumption goes down import goes up because the sign is negative here negative association ship but here the value is how much 76.7 percent right that means the 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 they have a strong association ship and how much 76.7 percent association ship they have between import and consumption but their association ship is negative in nature okay okay then i talk the last one level of significance right here I have chosen two tailed level of significance you can see from here right two tail so actually the these are the this is the level of significance this is also level of significance and from here this is level of significance this is level of significance this and this actually the significance level also known as a p-value probability value p-value of uh, this is also p-value so okay first I talk about between consumption and export I talk about this one the how much is the p significance value here the significance value is 82.6 percent meaning that p value is 82.6 percent right okay and what is our null hypothesis our null hypothesis is there is no association ship 
between these two variable export and consumption or there is no correlation between these two variable export and in consumption that is our null hypothesis and what is our alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is there is association ship between the two variable or there is correlation there is correlation between the two variable okay now what is the guideline the guideline is that if the p-value is less than 5% we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis and if the p-value is more than 5% we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis that is the guideline all the time right okay here what is happening here the 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 value the p value is 82.6 percent which is more than five percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that there is no association ship or there is no co 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 correlation between export and consumption okay then I talk about uh, talk about this one level of significance right between import and export so the 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 value the p value is here 38.4 percent meaning that more than five percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that import and export has no association ship meaning that there is no co correlation between these two variable then finally I talk about one more that we have this one right so this one is the p value p, uh, it is 2.6 percent the p value is 2.6 percent so the question is that uh, so so what is the guideline the guideline is that if the p value is less than 5 percent we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative high hypothesis and what is our alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is there is association ship between two variable so here we can easily reject null hypothesis meaning that there is a association ship between import and consumption so what is our total decision the total decision is export and consumption has no association ship and import and export also do not have any association ship but import and consumption has association ship because the p-value is less than five percent so that is the decision of the whole model so far we have seen here so uh, so yeah so that is the whole things comes up 
and uh, yeah that is the whole things is coming up here 